Today, we're going to talk to Lee Robinson. We're going to learn how he got started in development, what he's up to today, and what he'll be talking about at the upcoming JS Nation Live conference. This video is sponsored by Git Nation. Be sure not to miss the biggest JavaScript conference in the cloud happening June 9th through 11th. JS Nation Live will be three days of JavaScript talks and discussions with more than 35 speakers and over 25,000 JavaScript developers attending worldwide. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing JavaScript libraries and projects. Discover the future of JavaScript and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off. Lee is an amazing developer, writer, speaker, and course creator. Thanks for joining me again today, Lee. Why don't you give everyone a quick introduction? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm Lee. I'm the head of developer relations at Vercel, and I'm really excited to be here and, and talk a little bit more. Awesome. So uh, yeah, let's let's talk about how did you get started? So my entry into programming was somewhat traditional, but also somewhat non-traditional. I was deciding what I wanted to do from college, and I was between graphic design, engineering, and music. And ultimately, I ended up deciding to try out engineering because I thought I would have a better chance of getting a job. And when I started college or university, uh, I didn't know anything about coding. I was learning everything from scratch. And when I got there, I realized that I had a lot to learn, and it was going to take a lot of work. Um, luckily, I persevered through college and university and made it to the end and managed to have a few internships along the way, uh, letting me get a full-time job as a programmer. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so let's talk about the, the JS Nation um, conference. What will you be talking about? What's the topic of your, of your talk? Yeah, I'm talking about how Core Web Vitals will impact Google rankings in 2021. So a, a small introduction. Um, Google has been working on a set of performance metrics uh, called Core Web Vitals. And these vitals essentially help you understand how fast your site is as real users perceive it. So not necessarily some simulation, but data from actual people visiting your site. And the key point to drive home is that Google is updating their search engine algorithm to take these Core Web Vitals into effect when trying to determine how to rank your page. So having good performance is not only a nice to have for the user experience, it's now also an important part of SEO or search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. And so then the, the thing is like, how do we then uh, integrate that into our applications and use uh, that to make them more performant and to increase SEO and all of that sort of stuff. So how does, how does that get implemented? Yeah, yeah, so my talk, talks a little bit about, first off, what are these vitals and why should you care? Mm -hmm. And then also how you can improve and measure upon those performance metrics. So I give a few practical strategies that can be used really with any framework or any solution, whether you're doing just vanilla JavaScript or using something like Next.js, which I talk about in the video, mm -hmm. and then how you can track and measure and understand how your scores rank over time to see that you're improving and not uh, decreasing. Oh, nice. And so is that uh, like a, a dashboard or something on Google that shows you these analytics? Yeah, there's there's actually quite a few different tools that allow you to do this. The key term is called real user monitoring. Um, mm -hmm. Google is building this into their search console, um, as well as a tool that we work on at Vercel is called Vercel Analytics that gives you this information too, just out of the box when you mm -hmm. deploy uh, a Next, Nuxt, or Gatsby app on our product. Uh, and then there's a few other uh, RUM or real user monitoring tools out there that exist as well. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, on that topic, uh, Next.js is my favorite. That's basically my go-to. Anytime I need to start anything up, just it's it's so easy. I love it. So <laughs> nice. appreciate appreciate all the work on that. Um, yeah. It's amazing. Um, okay, so cool. So uh, I'm excited to hear more about this. Uh, we're not going to go into too much depth uh, because we want to get the, the entire experience at the uh, uh, JS Nation conference. So uh, before we wrap up, I, again, appreciate you meeting with me. And uh, before we wrap up, is there anything that you want to shout out, anything at all? I'll just say um, 
I guess shout out to the 1500 plus contributors to Next.js that helped me make my job easier and contribute back to the community. Uh, we're really thankful and uh, appreciative of y'all. Be sure to join us June 9th through 11th at the JS Nation Live Conference to learn how core web vitals will affect Google rankings in 2021. Be sure not to miss the biggest JavaScript conference in the cloud happening June 9th through 11th. JS Nation Live will be three days of JavaScript talks and discussions with more than 35 speakers and over 25,000 JavaScript developers attending worldwide. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing JavaScript libraries and projects. Discover the future of JavaScript and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off.